I realize the odds are against us here. We're facing an enemy with a power level unheard of. But there is still hope. We have a plan. A plan, Admiral? How do you intend to defeat a being of godlike power? We have established contact with someone who knows the Emperor well. We believe they hold the key to victory in this conflict. We're ready. Energize. Admiral Quinn is correct. I know the Emperor very well. After all, I am his mother. There have been concerns about my son in the Empire for some time. It was decided that a contingency plan was required. In case he ever lost control. That time has come. For years. I've been working on a means to disrupt his great powers. We need to strike before he is fully merged with that thing. Before he loses the last elements of his humanity. Before he is no longer my son. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Captain Ron Phillips channel. This is Captain Ron Phillips. How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to Star Trek Online. In today's episode, we are going to finish off the dreaded Terran Gambit um, storyline here. The Fujihara Effect. Uh, Emperor Crusher is inside the V'ger probe, fusing with it, and I do believe he has brought it to Earth. So, let's see what happens here. I'm afraid I have bad news. Under the command of Emperor Crusher, the other is approaching the Sol system, digitizing any vessels that dare to offer them challenge. We're calling in all available ships to form a defense here, including yours. If this is to be our last stand, I want our best and brightest on the line to meet the enemy in battle. All right. Here we go, guys. Fujihara effect. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. Looks like everybody's here. Who we got here? Some Klingons. What do we got here? The men. Adepta. Martok and Lita here, along with Bashir, Rom, Nog, Kern, Worf, everybody on uh, Sub Commander Hadal, Obasek, Daton, Kararek. Wow. Well, they pulled out all the stops here. Got a lot of people here. Oh, there's Captain Sean. There's Jordy. Admiral Janeway. Captain Kim. Paris. Tuvok. Michael Burnham is here. There's Burgess. Curlin, Cogren, Rita, Rita. It's like everybody in this game is here. There's Captain Corin. Wow. Good morning. I realize the risk you've all taken in being here to stand at our side in this dark hour. On behalf of Starfleet and the Federation, thank you. The interstellar entity known as the Other is approaching this system as we speak. Conventional methods of engagement have proven futile against the entity, but we have been able to limit the raiding conducted by the Terran fleets accompanying them. Under the guidance of the Terran Emperor, the Other will erase Earth from existence in a matter of hours. Once that happens, they will continue their reign of terror, 
eliminating the core worlds of every Alliance faction, and anyone else brave enough to stand against them. The time to act, to make a stand, is now. I realize the odds are against us here. We're facing an enemy with a power level unheard of. But there is still hope. We have a plan. A plan, Admiral? How do you intend to defeat a being of godlike power? We have established contact with someone who knows the Emperor well. We believe they hold the key to victory in this conflict. We're ready. Energize. Admiral Quinn is correct. I know the Emperor very well. After all, I am his mother. There have been concerns about my son in the Empire for some time. It was decided that a contingency plan was required. In case he ever lost control. That time has come. For years. I've been working on a means to disrupt his great powers. We need to strike before he is fully merged with that thing. Before he loses the last elements of his humanity. Before he is no longer my son. Mirror Beverly is here. Oh my. This is going to be fun. You look like a person with something on their mind. What can I do for you? Well, let's start with your role in the upcoming operation. Take it away, Beverly. Operation? Interesting choice of words. As a surgeon, I'd say that what we're about to do is very much like an operation on a very specific patient. Only in this case, if we're successful, we'll be saving our lives. The patient here being your son, the Terran Emperor. No, I'm going to take a break for a second. This all, I'm, this almost doesn't sound like Gates McFadden. I'm kind of wor I'm wondering now if that actually is her or not. I mean, or she, or, or she's really letting her British accent come out in this. You guys tell me. That's right. I've developed a countermeasure to his abilities. It utilizes a variable phase shift delivery system. One that should evade any detection tech or personal defenses he might have in place. And then? I'll deploy a cluster of nanotech into his nervous system. It's based on tech provided by our Marshal Janeway. I understand she acquired it from a rather advanced group of cyborgs in the Delta Quadrant. Based on my research, it'll disrupt the parts of Wesley's brain that allow him to use his powers. He'll be human again, and vulnerable to attack, but... Is there a problem? The countermeasure must be deployed at short range. We'll need to get to him at the core of the other to pull this off. Unfortunately, they have fortified their defense systems. Until we can safely breach those defenses and reach the core, this conversation is moot. Well, we're working on that. You'd better work fast. My son might be taking his time getting here. But he won't take forever. If you don't have something by the time he arrives, well, I'm told the digitization process is quick and painless. A rather humane method of execution, all things considered. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that, Doctor. Speak with the flagship captains. Oh, well, we can talk to Loris. In our time of utmost need, the Federation came to the Dominion's aid against the Herc. The Founders will never forget this brave act. Today, in the spirit of that act, we stand ready to defend the Federation's capital world. Today, the credo of the Jem'Hadar is especially profound. For today, victory is life for us all. Well, thank you, Loris. Captain Korn. Yeah. The Federation stood with the Empire over Kronos when the Undine sent their planet killer to destroy the homeworld. 
We fought at their side against the Iconians, and we will fight at their side against the other and the Terrans. It will be a glorious battle. Today is a good day to die. Well, glory to you and your house. Kapla, Captain Corrin. And is that Jarek over there? No, that's, yeah, that's Captain Sean. The Federation has stood with the Romulan people many times. When the homeworld was lost, they were there to help. When we found a new home, they were there as well. New Romulus has not forgotten. Today, we stand ready to honor our alliance and defend the Earth from this new menace. Well, thank you, Commander Jarek. And may the elements guide you as well. Now, where's that Enterprise, Captain? There he is. I've been in a lot of battles in my time. Far more than I'd like, if I'm honest. I prefer the role of explorer over that of a warrior. But when it comes down to the survival of the Federation, I'll take up that mantle without hesitation. The crew of the Enterprise will fight to their final breath to save as many lives as possible today. Count on it. Good luck out there, Captain. Well then, we've heard all the speeches. Now it's time to get to work. Are you ready to begin the operation? Yep. Long-range sensors have picked up the other at the edge of the system. They're on a direct course to Jupiter. Jupiter Station has a unique holographic defense system in place, and it'll only last so long against the other and their Terran escorts. I'd like you to deliver a system upgrade module to the station to aid with their defense. Yeah, sure. The Lisette will be leading a task force at Mars. Evacuation has already begun, but they'll need all the time you can buy them in Jupiter. Enterprise will be here, on standby, in case of emergency. Once the evacuations are completed, Jupiter and Mars, you're to fall back to Earth and join the remaining defense fleets. Understood. We'll depart for Jupiter shortly, Admiral. John Adams out. All hands go to red alert. Repeat, all hands, red alert. Corin to fleet. Prepare for battle. Kapla! This is Durak. It's time. Best speed to Mars. Good luck out there. The other isn't alone. They're bringing a large Terran invasion force along for the ride. I expect they'll do their best to loot and pillage in the wake of the other's destruction. Do what you can to stop that. But remember, saving lives comes first. Get as many people out of Jupiter as you can. We will, Captain. I don't doubt it. Better get moving. Captain Corrin can be a little rough when people are late to a battle. Yeah, I know that. You have arrived. Good. The enemy is approaching at high speed, and we have little time to prepare for battle. Deliver the defense upgrade to Jupiter Station at once. After that, evacuation efforts will commence. Defend the station and ships when that happens. All right, very well, Captain. Fight with honor. I don't know why the camera angle keeps messing up.
here. We could use some assistance. The Grinkling's arrangement to see the power of the other firsthand is disturbing. In moments, we lost the Fortescue, Jupiter Station, even Jupiter itself. Did we just lose Captain Corrin? The Terran in me hates to run from a fight, but we don't have a chance against that monster. We need to fall back to Mars. The battle at Jupiter Station barely slowed the invaders down. The other could attack here at any moment. We'll do what we can to help. Join us in transporting civilians from Mars and delivering them to the evacuation fleet in orbit. We'll conduct evac operations as long as we're able and protect the transports from Terran attack. Understood. We did all we could here. At least the Lissette went out fighting. Man, we lost her too. The Lissette went out fighting. It'd be suicide if we did the same. It's time to retreat to Earth while you're still able. This might be our last stand. The science teams are still working on a way to reach the core of the other, but none of their efforts have been successful. We've transported as many as we can to safety, but at this point, a full evacuation is impossible. We will buy the evac teams as much time as we can, Captain. Glad to hear it. Every minute means more lives saved. Before you go, there's something I'd like to say. We're with you to the end. If we don't make it out of this, well, it's been an honor. Well, the honor is mine, Captain. Good luck. Enterprise to fleet. Defend Earth at all costs. Buy as much time for evacuation as you can. Sean out. Here we go, people. One more under the rain.
Shields at maximum. All hands, brace for impact. It will not be enough. Today is a good day to die. Tactical, report, what just happened? Sir, it, there's another one! It's Feature! We came as soon as possible. Feature will engage the other in battle, allowing you to focus on the territory. We need the means to bypass the other's defense fields. <laughs> well, this thing is quiet. <laughs> Understood. I will begin work on that at once. Protect your allies from the Darren's mind. Oh my god, this thing is pissed. Work fast, please. This time, time is not on our side. Mitra? Well, the game's a foot, eh? <laughs> Focused, Admiral. We've got work to do. John Adams out. All right, let's get this over with. Engage. Teaming up with my doppelganger. Uh, this ought to be interesting. Stay sharp. They're liable to throw everything they have at us. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less from the Emperor and his lackey. ships going to
we're encountering quite a bit of resistance down here. Nothing we can't handle, though. That's our full set disabled. Let's move on to next targets. Acknowledged. We're moving on, too. Scan that huge spherical section. firing away, isn't it? <sighs> Patriotism is dying for the Empire, not the Emperor. What are those large pylons? They seem related to the plasma bolts that the other fires. They are part of the boat launcher system. Disable them, and the other will not be able to fire efficiently. How do we disable these pylons? Use the virus that Ilea has provided to us. <laughs> Die for the Just 
control a force field over the mouth of the vessel. Disable their shields, then destroy them. Moving to engage the shield generators. Acknowledged. Once they're down, we'll meet you at the rendezvous point. but we can't turn him back now, Doctor. True. Let's hope there's still enough of Wesley that's human in there, that he can be dealt with. I see no reason to wait, do you? Let's beam down and get this over with. Yep. 